I'm happy that you allowed us into your homes and into your family lives. On this show, we bring you issues, social issues that you need to know of and learn from. I'm happy that tonight you are with us and it's going to be an amazing time tonight. My people, are you ready? Yeah, and so are my counselors and we're going to have a great time. Finally, another woman has a confession. Let's listen to it. Well, there is a confession, and it's quite an up-to-date one. Apparently, there are dating apps right here in Ghana, and people are finding beloveds. She says her confession is about somebody who is not supposed to be on a dating app that is already on a dating app. Girl, give us the full story. What is your confession? So, Miss Nancy... I've been married to this pastor for the past five years. Hey, Pastor C. And then we have a son. Uh huh. Who is three. Okay. Recently, I've noticed that his character has changed a lot. Okay. So I asked him if I've wronged him so that I can actually. When you say his character has changed, what exactly has changed about him? He doesn't give me attention anymore. Mm. A lot of meetings and stuff. Mm. But before, it wasn't like that. Okay. How so, was it like before? We were cool. Like, when it was church home, church mm -hmm. home, but mm -hmm. now, meetings, mm -hmm. when, he, when he leaves the house like 5 a.m., we'll be back like 10, 11. Not just uh, um, the ministry is growing, right? No, not that. Even though the ministry is growing, but this is too much. Okay. So I asked him if I found him, he said no. Mm. So I had, I just suspected that he's doing something. Mm -hmm. So one day he was asleep with his phone in his hands. I took the phone. Mm -hmm. How he woke up to take his phone, I was just surprised. Ah, their phone. These days when they are dead and you take their phones, they will <laughs> wake up my sister. You don't know. Nancy, I was surprised. Mm? He jumped back to life. Huh? So... Three weeks ago, yeah. he was asleep and then I took his phone. Mm -hmm. This time around, he wasn't holding it, so mm -hmm. he didn't see. So awesome. I took the phone and before, mm -hmm. his password was my birthday. Okay. If it's not my birthday, then it's our son's birthday. Mm -hmm. But that day, Miss Nancy, I entered the password, my birthday, it didn't open, my son's Mm -hmm. Same thing. His birthday, mm -hmm. same thing. Did you try his car number? They use the car number too. This nice. I tried everything that I know. Mm -hmm. So after 30 minutes, I could go through the phone, I opened it. And then I saw something that was strange. Mm -hmm. A dating app. <laughs> okay. I know it, it only exists in movies, but I didn't know it's... It's all over the place in Ghana now. People are finding loved ones. People are hmm. finding even husbands and wife on these dating apps. But what's a married man doing with a dating app on his phone? That's and a question that for the too. gods. So I just opened the app and then I saw his profile. He changed his name. It was his picture, his but picture. his name was changed. Yes. Okay. So I just rushed to the office. I didn't want to do anything home. So I rushed mm -hmm. to the office to use one of our laptops there. Mm -hmm. It's not mine though. So I downloaded the app and then created an account for myself. I also changed my name, mm -hmm. then my profile. Mm. I just went straight to his DM and then I, I just texted him, hi. He said hi. I asked him if he's married. He said no. Your own husband? Hey, my sister. I asked him, do you have a girlfriend? He said, oh, he has a... Um, <laughs> he said he has a baby mama. Okay. That's his ex. So Referring apparently me, mentally... He has divorced you and he never even married you because if you're a baby mama. <laughs> Referring to me, your wife, a baby mama. Hmm. So, just imagine my reaction to chatting with him. I was, I just, I cried. Honestly, I cried. Somebody I've been married to for five years. Wow. And you are denying me on an app. It's an app. So, I've been talking to him. From then, I texted him on WhatsApp. Like, I left messages for him. 
He didn't reply. Like in your capacity as his wife? Yes. So whilst you were chatting with him on the app, introducing yourself, yes. you were also chatting with your phone yes. to see if he'll give you any attention. But... The app was... <laughs> <laughs> Like he should, he should just give me blue text. I would know that. Oh, mm -hmm. he viewed it, but no. So I've been chatting with him for a week now, and then he asked me for on the app, mm -hmm. on WhatsApp on the app. He asked me for my phone number, and I told him I wanted to know more about him first. Mm. Now he wants to meet me in person. Wow. Yes. He wants to meet me. And I. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't want to do something that will end me in cell. So, this man said, advise me. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. That is her confession. Na oko ho kra ko ye dey. E wo apne so. She was curious. And they say curiosity killed the cat. And right now, her curiosity may mess up her marriage. Because the gentleman, she's happily married to who is a man of god says he is not married he has a baby mama and uh, the woman is an ex and she is supposedly happily married this is her confession i am overwhelmed let us go into the studio my counselors are ready my studio audience are ready let's see if we can help this young woman quite a confession <laughs> 